In MySQL, we also have another simpler way to join two tables. It's called a natural join and it's easier to code, but it's not something that I recommend because sometimes it produces unexpected results. But let me quickly show you how it works in case you see it somewhere. So at least you're familiar with it. So back to the previous example, let's select everything from the orders table. Now we should do a natural join with the customers table. Now with these natural joins, we don't explicitly specify the column names. So the database engine will look at these two tables and it will join them based on the common columns. The columns that have the same name. And that is the reason this query is shorter to write. So for clarity, let's pick a couple of columns here. O.order ID and C dot, let's say first name. Let's execute the query. There you go. So we see all the orders and the customers who place them. So natural joins are really easy to code, but they can be a little bit dangerous because we're letting the database engine figure out or guess the join. We don't have control over it. For this very reason, natural joins can produce unexpected results, and that's why I discourage you to use them.